my lovelies. Hello, my lovelies. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for all the zodiac signs. We're going to begin, of course, with Scorpio. It is still Scorpion season. Let's see what you can expect in regards to new love and old flame. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, I call upon you. I ask you to please step forward. Allow me to see, hear, sense, beyond, receive the messages loud and clearly for all the zodiac signs, beginning here with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Are you guys preparing for the holidays? All right, so we have three cards for new love. And we have three cards here for old flame. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. First card here is the two of cups, three of swords, and the Ten of Wands. All right. So I see you guys having a connection. Um, initially, I feel like this connection was pretty strong. I think there was a lot of infatuation around this connection. With the Three of Swords right at the center in regards to how they feel about the connection. This could, this could indicate that this person has, you know they have a lot of unresolved issues right now. I feel like you're dealing with someone that hasn't moved on from an ex-partner or hasn't completely closed that chapter uh, in regards to an old flame, someone that hurt them, someone that, this could be a person that's extremely guarded. And I feel like the reason why is because they're still carrying around unhealed parts of themselves um, that they experienced in the previous relationship. I don't see them taking any future actions in regards to this connection. If you feel like you guys have been a little bit off or perhaps they're not completely, you know, present or maybe even not communicating the way they did. I feel that the reason for this could be because of the astrological alignments that we just currently experienced. This might have shaken a core of them, right? It struck a core to them in regards to a previous relationship. And I feel like they're still healing. Um, if you are really emotionally invested, Scorpio, my advice would be to give each other some space uh, so that you cannot, so it could be easier for you to detach from the situation right now, because I feel like there's going to be a lot of waiting here, a lot of waiting time that happens uh, before this person is fully able to, you know, move on from that. So I feel like this is something that they're struggling with. Perhaps they've been struggling with this for a while. Um and like I said, I don't see them really opening up or perhaps I don't see them completely moved on from that situation. And that always gets messy, you guys, when people are still clinging on to the past. It's really hard because there's going to be situations or circumstances that trigger, right, the connection, the present connection to the past. And it's almost like they kind of mirror they kind of mirror those experiences in the previous relationship. And because they have unresolved issues, you can end up getting hurt along the way, Scorpio. So my advice is give each other some space, let them or allow them to figure out what it is that they want, but also let them know that you're not going to be on the sidelines, that you're not going to sit there and wait for someone to choose you. You know, if they can't be 100% or if they're not willing to be 100% then keep it pushing you don't want them to string you along now in regards to the old flame we have the five of swords the king of swords and the queen of wands I see your person from your past um, very connected to their ego I feel like this person could be a little bit petty right now and because it is coming up as a queen uh, uh, sorry the king of swords it's indicating to me that they are a bit you know, upset or in their feelings about something, but I feel like it has more to do with ego and pride. Perhaps if you were the one that walked away from this connection, um, they really didn't think that you would. And it's almost like a surprise to them. Um, but I do see them being a bit petty. If you start to hear that they are speaking about the relationship or how you treated them wrong, even if you know that that's not true, 
don't take the bait. Don't fall for it. Uh, this person just wants to get some type of reaction out of you. And because the queen of uh, wands is coming out, it indicates to me that this person is already either dealing with someone or communicating with someone. Um, perhaps they could be in a relationship with someone, but I feel like it's kind of giving me the vibes of the person that you're dealing up here with. Okay. For those of you guys, uh, if you connect with this, um, perhaps you're dealing with someone new. Um, but I feel like for some of you guys, this, this person hasn't moved on from the ex and it's always giving me the same energy here from your ex partner. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where the person from your past is dating someone, uh, and they put on this display or they put on this, you know, image of what they want you to see when in reality, they're still in their feelings about the fact that they lost you. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. We're going now to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Saggies. How are you, Sagittarius? Are you guys getting ready for your season? Sagittarius season's coming up. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Now, I know a lot of you guys ask me, um, when I say sun, moon, or rising, the reason we say that is because it is a general reading. So the energies are quite expansive and they are quite um, fluid. So what that means is sometimes you're going to connect with your sun, moon, uh, sorry, with your sun or with your moon or your rising. But Venus is also the placement of um, that represents love. So in your in your chart, wherever you have your Venus at, if you listen uh, to your sun, moon or rising or Venus, you'll get a, a, a much more clear glimpse at what it is that is the message that is more directed towards you. So I hope that makes sense. All right, Sagittarius, we have the lover's card. We have death and judgment. So for a lot of you Sagittarians, especially those of you guys that are single and that are not dealing with anyone, I do see a new person, a new connection coming in. For some of you guys could be Scorpio energy. For others of you could be Gemini. Um, but what I am hearing is that new love is coming in for you guys, especially, like I said, those of you guys that have been single for a while, they're telling me it's been a while or your love life hasn't been that exciting as of late but that's quickly going to be changing. The death card is major transformation. So there you're going from being single to being in a relationship or in a committed relationship. I feel like for a lot of you guys, those of you guys that have been single for a while, you've been kind of testing the waters and it almost seems or feels as if you're not really connecting or vibing with anyone. And the reason for that is because you weren't ready. You weren't ready. You weren't open. But at this point in time, I do see you guys getting or stepping into alignment and being ready and dating with purpose. I see you guys like being more realistic about what you're looking for in a partner and also being realistic about what it is to be in a relationship. So again, I feel for a lot of you guys, there's major transformation that's going to be happening in your love life. With the lover's card, it's going to be very a, a very strong connection. I feel like the physical attraction is going to be off the charts. If you are all deal, uh, already dealing with someone, I feel that this connection is very strong. But you guys have been in the fence about how this relationship is going to continue or how do we you know, progress. And I feel like you guys are making that decision. The end of this month, the beginning of December, for, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be going into a relationship with this person. I feel like, like I said, you guys haven't been ready, but finally you guys are ready and things are going to move along quite nicely for you guys. Now, in regards to your old flame, we have the Tower 10 of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be feeling a bit, I don't want to say like, what's the word? Um, you guys are going to be feeling a bit surprised <laughs> is the word I can use. For a lot of you guys, you're finding out that the person that you were dealing with is either in a committed relationship or that they quickly got into a relationship. And this is going to be something that catches you off guard, or perhaps you weren't expecting that. For some of you guys, you were probably still talking or communicating with the next partner. 
thinking here they are trying to fix the relationship and then boom, all of a sudden you hear, find out that they are being in a relationship. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, because the tower is present, present, it does indicate to me that it's the element of surprise. So again, for a lot of you guys, you're finding out uh, that this person is in a relationship. And like I said, they could have been talking to you or communicating or making it seem as if they were wanting to work something out. But in reality, they just wanted to make sure that you would still allow them in your life. So if that is something that is going to be or that you're currently experiencing, my advice is don't sit there and listen to them saying, yes, I'm in a relationship, but it's not really working out. Um, I don't know what's going to happen or I can't make a decision right now. If they give you that type of BS, walk away from this. You don't want to be into a messy situation um, that only ends up hurting you. Um, and again, uh, for a lot of you guys, I feel like there are things that are going to be coming out in regards to the ex-partner or the person that you're dating uh, that is going to have you a bit in your feelings about it because of what I'm hearing is, how could they have lied to me or how could they have let me on? So again, if you guys are currently dealing with someone from your past and you're thinking that you guys are working it out, do not be surprised. Be prepared to hear that they are BSing you and things are going to be coming out to the open. All right, my lovelies, we are moving on. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Moving on here, we're going with Capricorns. Let's see what's going on with Cappies. Cappies, your season's coming up too. <laughs> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns. If you guys are anything like me, I'm sure you're experiencing a lot of changes happening, a lot of movement. Even things that you guys felt were already done, they're coming to surface. This is not a surprise. Saturn just went direct. All right. Three cards, new love. Three cards, old flame. Here we go. Cappies. We have the ace of swords. We have the 10 of wands and the knight of wands. Ex-lover or ex-partner. We have the high priestess, the two of pentacles, and the five of swords. No surprise there, right? All right, my lovely. So for you Capricorns that are single, Ace of Swords indicates communication. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're already in communication with someone. Uh, for others of you, um, I do see the possibility of love around you, but I feel like right now, what you're trying to do is I see you guys like in a vine or going through a vine, trying to weed out the people that are just not connecting with you or that are not investing in you. Now, investing is a word that's coming on very strongly. And I don't mean financially. What I mean is people that are willing to reciprocate your energy or people that are willing to pour as much as you pour into a glass of water. Uh, so it's, it's almost like it's giving me the energy of servitude. And that's something that Capricorns, you know, when you are emotionally involved in someone, it's something that you often do. Um, your way of showing love and appreciation is by doing for them, right? Even if you don't ask them or they don't ask you, sorry, you take it upon yourself because that to you is very important because in essence, that's something that you have a tendency of lacking in experience, other people doing for you. So I feel like this month, Capricorn, it's going to be really important for you to keep your eye on the ball. And what I mean by that is, Pay attention to the people that are willing to do for you without you asking, because that is a sign of reciprocation. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you have a tendency of staying in a connection, even if you know the connection's not really going anywhere, you stick around because you don't know what may happen, or you're scared that you the time you invested was a waste of time. So you guys often hold on to things a little bit longer than you should. And right now what they're telling you is if it's not working out, move on because you have other opportunities coming your way. You don't have to carry on other people's responsibilities, Capricorn, especially if you're just dealing with someone in a connection and, you know, they have a lot of the qualities that you're looking for. Um, but then at some point in time, they expect you or they rely on you. And if it's a connection that you're starting to build, you don't want to build them 
in that way for them to feel very comfortable with depending on you or relying on you. So again, keep an eye on that for the coming month. For those of you guys that are dealing with exes or past lovers, we have the high priestess here, the two of pentacles and the page of swords. I feel that someone's being sneaky, more than likely your ex. They're keeping tabs on you or they're looking at your social medias, creating fake accounts. I see them in the background, kind of like trying to peek in. Um, so I would not be surprised if they're asking friends about you or if they, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say this Capricorn, if you have a friend you haven't heard from and all of a sudden they hit you up and they're asking, you know, 21 questions, uh, you know, are you dating anyone? Da, 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 da. Don't be surprised that this person is an infiltrator and that they're giving information back to the ex because I do see them doing sneaky shit like that. So my advice is keep your lips sealed. Don't let people know the moves you're making um, because I feel like it's going back to the ex-partner. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for new love. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. I have a lot of Aquarian friends, you guys, and I adore you guys. All right, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Here we go, Aquas. Your first card here is the five of swords, the, the king of swords and the nine of swords. What the heck is going on, Aquarius? I feel like you guys are too prideful. OK, those of you guys that are dealing just recently dealing with someone and you feel like you can't get them out of your head. The reason why you can't get them out of your head is because they are shadowing you. So they are stubborn. Uh, they are not necessarily like they always like to be right. And I feel like you guys have a tendency of doing that Aquarius. And that's the reason why they are in your head. So don't sit there and be like, oh my God, they're so different. And that's the reason why I like them. Or that's the reason why I should give them a shot. Or that's the reason I should be patient. No, the reason why you're actually, uh, it's almost like an enigma to you is because it's a reflection of who you are or the traits that you have. So there's no mystery there, just like people have a tendency of, you know, trying to, you know, try to get an idea of who you are. And that's like almost impossible, right, Aquarians? <laughs> but I feel like you may be drawn to this person or you may be attached to this person because they are a lot like you. And I feel like you're thinking there's something to it, but there really isn't. So again, if you are dealing with this situation, move on from this because I feel like this is a person that has a major thing with playing mind games. That's how they get people to actually fall for them. And you don't, the difference between you and this person is that you don't try. That's how you are. You're a mental sign, right? You're often in your head overthinking, um, you know, thinking about other things other than getting emotionally invested or emotionally attached. But I feel like when you guys do, uh, you guys do have a tendency of pulling people that are usually the opposite of you. And in this situation, because this person does seem to have a lot of the qualities that you possess, I feel like you think there's a mystery there and they're, they're more interesting. But in reality, that's kind of how you come off to other people. So what I'm saying is you don't really like them the way you think you do. I feel like it has more to do that because they kind of remind you of you. Um, and I know that sounds weird, but what they're saying is if they are playing mind games, keep it pushing. This is a person that's just going to waste your time, Aquarius. Now, in regards to your old past or your past flame, they still haven't moved on from you. I feel like at a point in time when they were in a relationship with you, there was almost this feeling of, you know, this could be it. So for some of you guys, this was a long-term committed relationship, but I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, go on a whim here and say that this person still has feelings for you, Aquarius. I feel like they're still trying to communicate and I do see them reaching out. So don't be surprised if you do hear from an ex or if you hear from a past partner, uh, trying to casually, uh, open some type of conversation. I feel like they haven't moved on and they're still hoping or wanting uh, to give you guys another opportunity. So 
the ball is in your court, Aquarius. All right, moving on here. Okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Pisces. Your first card is the Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. I feel like we're getting a lot of the Ten of Wands, uh, which is not a surprise. Usually, you know, this type or this uh, time of the year, uh, people get a little bit, you know, overwhelmed with the holidays and with their feelings, you know, nostalgia. Anyways. Okay. So in regards to new love Pisces, you have the Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So I feel like they see you as a very enthusiastic or exciting person like your personality really stands out to them and that's something that they really connect or really vibe with um how they feel about you ace of swords is still deciding where this connection is going to go i feel like they're they may be a little bit guarded but i feel like the connection is there and this is a person that is very like honest or straightforward with the ten of wands i don't see any actions like anything different uh, from what it is right now, but I feel like it has more to do with other outside responsibilities. So again, if you recently feel like you're just communicating or texting, not really hanging out or being, or being around each other that much, it's because they are carrying a bit of stress or perhaps dealing with, you know, family and responsibility, because like I said, the holidays, um, but they are, I, I see them being tied up. So that to me is an indicator not having enough time or not being able to put enough time into this connection because they have other responsibilities going on. Now, in regards to the past lover, we have the high priestess here, the queen of swords and the full card. So they still have feelings for you, Pisces. They still haven't moved on. I see them watching you or keeping an eye on you. This could be through social media. This could be literally keeping an eye on you not stalkerish vibes but i wouldn't be uh surprised if they were casually passing by your house or if you go out you know and you're in the front and then you see a car pass by and you're like oh my god it looks so much like the car of my ex i wouldn't be surprised that that's them because i feel like they haven't moved on and they're still hoping for some type of reconciliation they're still hoping for you know giving each other another opportunity but in a sneaky way. So I don't feel like they're coming out in the open and being like, hey, Pisces, I think that we should, you know, see, give us another go. I don't see that happening. I feel like they're doing it more like, and another thing that I'm hearing is if they do bump into you at the store or somewhere out, you know, out and about and you bump into them, do not be surprised. I feel like they will casually make it seem like, oh, look, you know, this is destiny bumping us into each other. Like, not necessarily. I feel like they kind of know where you go or they kind of know where you hang out. So it's not a coincidence, okay? Don't let them make you feel like it's destiny or like it's, you know, the universe. No, I feel like they're purposely going to places where they knew you would hang out because they're trying to connect, but making it seem like it's other forces bringing you guys together than them just not moving on and being kind of stalkerish. All right. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aries. All right, here we go, Aries. First card is the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Wow. Oh, all right. I'll keep it. The Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. All right. Ex-lover or Old Flame. All right. So in regards to new love, you guys, I feel like this connection is a very strong connection. I feel like there are a lot of elements that are working for you guys. Uh, if you just recently started dealing with someone, 
I feel that it's going to take a little bit for them to really open up. And I feel like it's not in a, in a negative way. I feel like this person is just more mindful of past experiences and they know exactly what it is that they want. So be a little bit patient there because though the connection and everything may start off amazing, it'll quickly progress. But then I feel like there is a stop or halter. Um, but the reason for that or a halt, sorry, not a halter, a halt is because I feel like they will be a little bit in their feelings and be like, whoa, 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 we're taking this a little too fast. But if you continue that connection, I feel like it will manifest into something much more long term. I just feel like this person is, you know, they're trying not to rush into anything really. Um, but it's not because they're playing mind games or anything like that. It has more to do from being hurt in the past and they learned their lesson. So now they're trying to be a little bit more wiser when it comes to relationships. Um, however, I do see this progressing very well. If you're not dealing with anyone, do not be surprised if there is some type of connection or some type of introduction that happens in the next coming weeks for a lot of you guys, or from now all the way to December, I feel like someone is being brought into your dynamic or brought into your social circle um, with the intent or with the purpose of introducing you to them. So don't be surprised if a friend out of nowhere hits you up and is like, hey, I want you to go on a blind date because I have someone that just seems perfect for you. If that happens to you, Pisces, uh, definitely, I'm sorry, Aries, if that happens to you, definitely take it on because I feel like you're not going to regret this at all. <laughs> all right. In regards to old love here, they still have feelings for you, uh, Aries. They still have feelings for you. They're still wanting to reconnect with you. I feel like they often think about you and they may, when thinking of you, I feel like they may get in their feelings because they feel like they really dropped the ball in this situation. Um, For some of you guys, you could have dealt with the situation where the partner that you were dealing with actually stepped out of the relationship or chose a different person or a different relationship to get into, um, thinking the grass was greener on the other side. And then quickly coming to feeling some type of regret, like, you know, a lot of time has passed or a lot has happened, but they're still hopeful and they're still having feelings about you. So if the partner from, or your ex-partner uh, or old flame was in a relationship, it's not all great and dandy. I feel like they often contemplate, you know, what it was to be with you in a relationship. And I feel like there is a bit of regret in that, in that. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flames. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Love, and Old Flame, three, New Love, three, Old Flame. All right, here we go, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. We have the Moon card, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Three of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so when we're talking about new connections and new relationships, I feel like this coming full moon is really going to break way for a lot of you guys, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I see your inner circle expanding, and this could be your social circle as well, expanding, uh, making new friends or dealing with new people that are coming into your life. This is not coincidence, Taurus. It's time to embrace new beginnings. Um, and the reason I say that is because I do see a person coming towards you, but it's more so friend type of energy. But I feel like that friend is bringing with them a lot of outside connections that are going to make way for you when we're talking about love and romance. So again, if you guys currently are dealing with someone and it almost feels like they're not being particularly upfront about something, you're not wrong for feeling that way, Taurus. I would keep myself a little bit guarded. And the reason I say that is because with the moon card, it does symbolize a person that may be foreshadowing something or hiding something, not being completely straightforward or not being completely honest. So if they're telling you, you're the only one I'm talking to, but they you know, take two hours or three hours to text you back, 
or they go a day or two without communicating, then all of a sudden they're communicating. I would not be surprised to tell you, Taurus, that they may be dealing with other people outside of you. So again, keep that in mind. For those of you guys that are not dealing with anyone, like I said, I feel like people are being brought into your life right now because they're going to be key important factors or connections that bring you the person that you will connect with on an emotional level. So keep that in mind, okay? If people start to connect with you or they start to invite you to places or, hey, Taurus, you know, we're having a, you know, gathering at a bar or something out after work and you're not usually the type to jump into that, I would definitely be open to that, Taurus, because with this new experience, I feel like they're bringing to you or they're helping you facilitate the connection for your love life. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with people from the past, there is almost a lack of, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's, there's almost like a disconnect that's happening right now uh, with the partner. So I would not be surprised if the person from your past was dealing with someone and all of a sudden they're single or their relationship starts to falter, starts to break down. Um, they're quickly going to be in their feelings about you. I feel like there was a person that moved on a bit too fast, but now it's almost like I'm I'm getting regret is what I'm getting, but I feel like they're too prideful to actually say I effed up or they're too prideful to actually say, I miss you, Taurus. Like I miss what we had, whatever that situation is. But I feel like there's been a lot that's been happening with them on a mental state. I feel like they've been either self-reflecting a lot or looking to the past very often. And the reason for this is because I feel like it's it's finally hitting them or they're finally coming to the understanding that you, you were what they wanted. Just they were at a different place or a different state of mind when you guys were together. So it's kind of the situation of realizing you effed up because the person you were with was great for you and you ended up being with someone the complete opposite and now they're realizing I really effed up, but they're too prideful to actually come out and say it. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like this is a person that is very egocentric or maybe even has, has had narcissistic tendencies, but I feel like they're finally coming to that realization. And, and oftentimes I see them like kind of finger pointing or blaming you for their misfortunes. And it's like, they are, it's finally sinking in that it's not, it was never you. It's their karma for the shit they've done. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, but again, like I said, I feel like there is too much ego, too much pride to actually come out and say it. Um, just know that whatever it is that they are trying to portray to you, like, it's just a facade. It's not a reality. It's, it's make believe, you know what I mean? Uh, they still haven't gotten over uh, your relationship or the connection that you guys had. Um, but they're very big on pretending like they're doing amazing. So if you just recently broke up and you're feeling like, oh my God, they're doing amazing and here I am falling apart. Don't feel bad, Taurus. They're BSing. They're just wanting to portray that. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flames. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see what's going on with Gemini's. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, for new love, we have the Six of Wands, the Hermit, and the Strength card. Old Flame, we have the Death card here, Eight of Swords, and the Star card. Okay. All right, my lovelies. So when it comes to new love, they definitely are very attracted to 
your physical Gemini. Um, but I feel like for a lot of them, and I don't know the type of reputation you have, but I feel like a lot of them are really intrigued with the reputation that follows you, Gemini. So I would just advise to be a little bit cautious about that because oftentimes um, it's almost like it becomes an allure. It becomes something that like an enigma. And instead of actually falling for you, they're falling more for what they think you can do for them or what they think you can give them. Um, with the hermit here in regards to how they feel about you, I feel like they're still unsure uh, the feelings they have. However, with the strength card here in the future actions, I feel like they are definitely going to try to rush in or rush into trying to make it a deeper connection rather quickly. This is a person that's going to want to move very quickly. Take it slow and steady, Gemini. Like I said, I would just warn you to be a bit careful about their perception of you. Sometimes people fall for the idea of you or for, like I said, the reputation that follows you. Uh, for other people, as an example, if you have a reputation of dating multiple people or you're a player because you you like to date people, um, sometimes people become almost obsessed, like, oh, I'm going to be the different one. I'm going to be the one that changes them. I'm going to be, you know what I mean? So again, be careful with that. Don't rush anything. Take your time in getting to know this person. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with old flame or interested in old flames, how they feel about you, I feel like they're finally getting to a point of moving on or really emotionally disconnecting from this connection. I feel like this person has already turned the page. Um, and the reason for this is because they feel like there's not much change that can happen in this connection. Whatever was meant to happen, it happened. And I feel like they're taking it like this is what it was and it's time to move on. Um, at some point, there was almost a feeling of wanting to reconnect or wanting to uh, try to fix the relationship. But I feel like they've other things have happened in their life that have let them down a different road and now they're realizing that it's it's you know it's time to turn the page on this so my advice for you gemini's is keep it moving you do have the star card here and this is an indication of you know your life being illuminated or you being illuminated and being guided to a different path a path that is you know with the death card we've learned what we had to learn in this connection and should you remain or want to remain in the hopefulness of it, um, you're only keeping yourself or putting yourself in the sidelines and really stopping your life uh, for someone to make up their mind about you. So my advice would just be keep it pushing with the star card. You're being guided. You know, the stars are aligning in your favor. It's time to um, it's time to start fresh, to start new. All right. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to new love and old flame. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Cancer. Your first card here is the Knight of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there was a connection where uh, you could have dealt with someone that you felt the connection, you felt like things were progressing good, and all of a sudden they kind of stopped. Do not despair. I feel like this person is finally making up their mind about you, Cancer, and they are... It could have been that they were guarded. It could have been that they were like, I feel this vibe, you know, but not sure if I'm ready or I'm willing to give what cancer is wanting or what they're asking for. But I feel like it's only something temporary. It's something passing. It's something fluid. So I feel like this person is finally making up their mind about you and they're going to go for it. They're like, this is it. This is what I want. And they're moving forward. Uh, for some of you guys, don't be surprised if this person was a bit guarded and all of a sudden they start to open up and talk about feelings. This is a good sign because it's an indication that they've already made up their mind. <laughs> so if it hasn't happened yet, it will happen. Cancer, um, don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> 
be a bit patient because I feel like this person is getting ready to actually take it to the next level. Now, when we're talking about past lover or past flame, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Page of Wands. I feel like this person took a while to finally be able to move on. This could have been you as well, Cancer. But with the Three of Cups and the Page of Wands, I feel like they're finally moving on or they're finally looking towards the future, ready to embark on a new journey for them. So I feel like they've come to the understanding that this is not going to work or that it wouldn't work and they're moving on. So my advice is um, if you're still hopeful or still wanting to, you know, connect with your ex-partner, I don't see that it's in your benefit. I do see that there may be some communication that opens up at the end of this month. Um, but keep in mind, you guys, a lot of the times right now around the holidays, people get emotional and they have a tendency of, you know, really reliving the past. Um, so if you do hear from them, I feel like it's only something temporary and I don't want you to end up getting hurt or being hopeful. And then you hold on to that hope. Uh, and what they're really doing is just putting you again on the sideline and having you waste your time. So my advice is keep it pushing cancer. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Leos. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any readings, um, spell work, or if you guys are interested in the manifestation books or the journals, you can definitely check that out on the description box below. We also have the shadow work book finally coming out for you guys. Uh, it should be going out uh, or going live, I should say, at uh, the end of November. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys are trying to heal or work through healings, that is definitely a journal you want to get your hands on. All right, let's get it. Leo, we have the five of wands. We have the ace of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles. In regards to old love, six of pentacles, queen of cups and the emperor card. So for those of you guys that are single, 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 <laughs> I do see uh, your love life spicing up. Five of wands does indicate to me people really fighting to try to get your attention um, I feel from the bunch, there's an earth sign that's definitely going to stand out for you. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. I feel like this person is coming out uh, with some type of offering or some type of invitation. If that unfolds for you this month, uh, Leo, definitely take on that opportunity. I feel like this person is really going to blow your mind in regards to uh, a lot of you know, the qualities that you're looking for in a partner. And I feel like it comes as a surprise. So this could be a person that necessarily is not your type, um, but have a lot of the qualities that you look for in a partner. So when I say that, it usually indicates probably like physically not your type uh, or not usually the type that gets your attention. But I feel like this is a, a very good uh, beginning because this is something that will progressively grow into something more stable. So definitely take on those opportunities. If you're already dealing with someone, again, like I said, I feel like it could be earth energy. Um, you may feel like it's slow and steady, and this could be probably like a, what's the word I'm looking for? A temple you're not necessarily used to. Um, you are fire energy, so you like things exciting um, and explosive. But I feel like this person is really going to show you a different a different way of dating or a different way of connecting with people where you will quickly uh really fall for their I don't want to say cautiousness but it's almost like they are actually being cautious but I feel like for you it could be like it seems a bit slow and steady the connection like it's not that exciting it's not initially in the beginning but I feel like if you move past that and actually give them an opportunity, you're going to be pretty much surprised, Leo. Now, when we're talking about uh, old partner or past love, we have the six of pentacles here in how they feel about you. And I feel like they're still trying to decide, um, trying to decide if it's worth, you know, 
if it's worth revisiting, you know, the past with the Queen of Cups here, it could have been a situation that um, outside interference had a lot to do with it. Uh, however, I do feel like they still have feelings for you. But in regards to taking action or them reaching out to you, I don't see that. I feel like they're more adamant about, you know, their what they have to show the world or what they show you. And it's almost like there is there's this feeling of knowing that if they would have done something different, like the outcome would have been different. Um, but I feel like this is a person that is extremely stubborn and they would never admit that, even though they know that. So again, I don't see any type of progress in this connection um, other than them realizing that uh, they could have put more effort in this connection, but they chose not to. And they're still choosing not to because I don't see them actually taking action towards you. All right, Leo, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. All right, here we go. Virgo, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love this energy for you, Virgo. So... I see you guys really like either vibing or really being able to fully engulf in your singlehood for a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys that are connecting with people. I feel like you're finally doing something that you haven't done in the past. And what I mean by that is you're actually taking inventory of the effort that they put into the connection. And if a person is not consistent, you have no problem walking away from that. If this is not something that you feel right now, don't be surprised if at the end of this month, beginning of December, you are much more guarded with your energy. Like you're not wasting your energy. You're not someone casually hits you up that you haven't heard from in like two months. And they're like, hey, Virgo, we should hang out. And it's a person you were interested in the past. I don't see you jumping at the idea because they haven't been consistent. I see you guys being more particular about where you invest your time in. And that is amazing energy. If you guys have been in the healing phase, um, don't be surprised that life surprises you because I see a new connection forming. I see a new person coming into your life. This is a person that is much more to your energy. This is a person that you are literally manifesting into your life or a person that will match your energy and that is looking for the same thing you're looking for. So I do see this progression of really thriving and doing amazing. And then boom, all of a sudden the universe brings to you a person that is looking and wanting the, the same things you're wanting. So it's very um, beautiful energy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, now for others of you, if you guys are dealing with someone, I feel like you guys have been in this standstill of not really knowing if it's official or not that's going to be changing. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're making it official by the end of this month or beginning of December. And I do see you guys bringing people around the relationship or them bringing you around their family and friends. I feel like there is a deepening of this connection that will be unfolding for the coming months. Now, in regards to your old flame here, we have the nine of cups, nine of swords and the six of cups. They're definitely in their feelings, Virgo. I feel like there is a lot of reminiscing. There is a lot of looking to the past or reliving the past. They constantly um, have a tendency of comparing you with other people that they're dealing with. But in regards to, you know, reconnecting, I see them trying to reach out to you the end of this month, beginning of December, maybe even the middle of December. But again, I feel like it has more to do with the fact that they feel lonely right now. There's almost this, you know, I miss Virgo and, you know, the holidays are here. Like we could have been spending time together. I feel like it has more to do with their solitude or the refusal of their solitude it has more to do with their loneliness than actually, you know, saying I love Virgo and it, it's Virgo, the one I want in my life. I don't see that happening. I feel like it has more to do with them reaching out to you because they don't know how to be by themselves or they don't know how to be single. Uh, this is a person that perhaps in the past has a tendency of jumping from one relationship to another. And 
they just don't want to be alone. My advice, Virgo, again, be very particular about your energies and the energies that you give other people. Okay. Like protect your energy. You don't want to be entertaining people that are only ten entertaining you because they don't have any other options. You're the only option. You feel me, Virgo? All right. Moving on here. Finally, Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of November. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we got cards flying out. Okay. First card here is the Queen of Cups, the Sun, and Temperance. Wow. Okay. Ex lover, old flame. We have nine of swords, justice, and two of cups. Okay. All right. So when we're talking about new love, uh, this person really is connecting with you, Libra, in a very emotional, um, in a very emotional, deep emotional sense. I feel like this person is really someone that could be very sensible or very emotional. Um, perhaps you're not that. What's the word I'm looking for? You may feel a bit overwhelmed in this connection sometimes because I'm hearing needy. So for some of you guys, you may feel like this person may be a bit needy. However, I feel that the reason for it is because this person has or carries a lot of insecurities, but this is a good connection for you, Libra. I feel like this person is really the type that, you know, usually goes above and beyond to make a relationship work. And with the sun card, it is a blessing that is coming to you unexpectedly. With temperance here, I feel like you've been on this journey for quite a while for some of you guys healing. For others of you, um, you've been on this journey of really reflecting on the type of partners that you choose. And this person is coming in at the perfect time for you. So be a little bit patient. I feel if anything, this person is going to really show you um, how beautiful it can be to be emotionally vulnerable with someone that is definitely going to reciprocate and protect your energy. Now, when we're talking about past lovers, I'm going to be honest. I feel like there was a decision that was made in the past where this person definitely feels or is in their feelings about it. Um, it's almost like after you, a lot of chaotic energy started happening and I'm going to be straightforward. I feel like for a lot of you guys in the past, you were dealing with an ex-partner that perhaps some of you guys confused it as a soulmate connection. And in reality, it was a karmic relationship with the nine of swords, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, you know, stress, a lot of fights within this relationship. But I feel like that's what kept it extremely explosive. And that element of explosiveness is what really drew you in or kept it very, what's the word I'm looking for, where you felt like, oh, it has to be, you know, a soulmate connection because we're so connected because it's so, you know, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's really bad. But again, I feel like a lot of you guys confuse this connection and it was actually a karmic relationship. So my advice is learn from that relationship, learn what it was, what they taught you in this relationship, Libra, and try to disconnect from it. Because I feel for a lot of you guys, you're still hooked on the, on the connection or you're still fixated on the fact that maybe it was, you know, a very strong relationship that it, it's almost like, it was a very strong and explosive connection that you often contemplate or have convinced yourself that it was a soulmate connection. But what Spirit is saying is, no, it was a karmic. And karmic relationships are meant to teach us something about ourselves and at the end to choose ourselves and to walk away from that because it's it's a connection that comes from a past life. So again, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you are finally making that decision to move on for others of you, if you're still in the fence about it and feeling like, you know, maybe there's still an opportunity, like take it for what it is, take the lessons that they brought you and bid them farewell, uh, farewell Libra, because I feel like the more you hold on to this, the more time you're going to waste um, and the more they're breaking you down. So let go of this connection, finally be done with it, uh, Libra. 
All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Like I said, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays, my lovelies, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye-bye for now. Thank you.